Since you guys smashed thumbs up button so hard on the opening video yesterday, I got you guys with the budget $30 mechanized madness deck profile for you guys today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned earlier on yesterday, I said that this structure deck is one of those decks that you can buy three structure deck and you're basically ready to go. If you guys want to spend 10 more dollars, what you guys can do is you guys can actually get additional cards to support this deck and I'll explain to you guys that further. So if you guys want to see the full power Machina deck profile, make sure you guys smash! Oh shoot, did I, did my screen break? All right, you know what guys? I'm actually too hyped for these videos, man. I, got, I gotta calm down, <sighs> take a breather, Sam. I'm too hyped, I'm too <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, yes, today $30 structure deck video, smash thumbs up button for the full power competitive one where there's no limits to how much the deck will cost. Uh, yeah guys, this deck is very awesome. I'll showcase you guys some combos as well. And yeah, alright guys, without further ado, <laughs> let's get started with the deck profile guys. I'm so sorry for that, oh my god. Okay, alright guys, let's get started with the deck profile. <laughs> All right guys, welcome to the $30 Machina Mechanized Madness Structure Deck Profile for you guys today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is what you guys can get with only $30. $30 will give you guys this entire deck. And like I mentioned earlier yesterday in my video, if you guys are interested in getting the deck profile right here, make sure you guys get your three structure decks in the link in the description box below. Also at the same time, I'll be signing your Machina Citadels with each purchase of a structure deck and also include a signed field center as well. So if you guys are interested in just getting this entire deck profile, make sure you guys get it today in the link in the description box below. All right guys, I won't waste any more of your time. I'll showcase you guys the deck profile real quick and talk to you guys about some of the cool combos you guys can do with this deck near the end of the video. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. All right guys, let's jump into the deck profile. All right guys, start with the monster real quick. You're gonna play, of course, triple copies of the brand new Machina Citadel. This card is literally the heart and soul of the entire deck. This is the card that's gonna help you set up interruptions and also at the same time help you set up OTKs. If you guys are not familiar with this card's ability, let me explain to you guys this card's effect real quick. Since we got a lot of new Machina cards, I'll be explaining to you guys their effects thoroughly and kind of in depth in the deck profile so you guys can understand what the deck does and how it functions with the deck list that I have today for the video. So Machina Citadel is a 3000 beat stick with 2500 defense with the effects that reads that cannot be normal summon or set, it must be special by a card effect. Quick effect, you can target one machine monster you control, destroy that machine monster and all monster opponent controls. The wonderful thing about this effect is that you can destroy itself. If you destroy itself, you will destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field with 3,000 or less attack. That is absolutely ridiculous. So during your opponent's turn, this card becomes a crucial interruption piece where you can literally regeki your opponent's board, which is absolutely insane. Its secondary effect is really good as well because it has a built-in monster reborn effect. And what it does is that if a face-up earth machine monster you control, except Machina Citadel, is destroyed by battle or card effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. So as long as an earth machine monster destroyed, easily special this card from your graveyard, which is insane. And there are so many Machina monsters in the deck that destroys itself, so you can easily revive this card back from the graveyard using its own ability, which is absolutely amazing. So this card right here is a self-built-in Monster Reborn, and also at the same time, one of the best Regeki cards in the deck to disrupt your opponent's play, and also clear your opponent's boards for OTK. So this card is absolutely mandatory to play at three, 100,000%. Next off, you're gonna play, of course, the brand new Triple Machina Aerator. This is one of the ways that you're going to be able to trigger off your Machina Citadel in the graveyard. If you guys are not familiar with this card's ability, it reads that you can discard one other machine monster, special summon this card from your hand. So you pitch a Machina monster from your hand to the graveyard, special summon this card from your hand. Quick effect, during your opponent's turn, you can target one machine monster you control. Special summon from your deck one machine a monster with a different name and an equal or lower level than that monster And if you do destroy that targeted monster So this card can special summon any machine a monster directly from the deck depending on the monster that you target on the field Most importantly, it's one of the cards that's gonna be able to trigger off your Citadel's effect in the graveyard Drew your opponent's turn, which is really good And there's a combo that you need to know when it comes to involving this card near the end of the video So make sure you guys stay tuned for that So this card right here provides you a massive board presence during your opponent's turn by being able to special the Machina monsters directly from the deck, right? Which is really, really good. So Triple Aerator is absolutely mandatory as well. This is the new addition to the deck. Next off, you're gonna play, of course, Triple 
Machina Aerator. So this card right here, it's the opposite of Aerator. Instead of specialism from the deck, this card specialism from the graveyard, and this effect is activated on your turn. While Machina Aerator is a quick effect that activates on your opponent's turn, you can discard one other Machina monster, specialism this card from your hand. Similar to the summoning condition of Machina Aerator, you can target one machine monster you control, special from your graveyard, one Machina monster with a different name and an equal or lower level than that monster, and if you do, destroy that target monster. Like I mentioned before, this card is a built-in Monster Reborn, opposite of Machina Aerator, where Aerator special is from the deck. So there's a cool combo with this card and Aerator. Make sure you guys stay till the end of the video. So this card is really beefy as well. Next off, this card is really awesome as well. Double copies of Machina Possessed Storage. This card is a new normal summon of the deck. It's really good for follow-up plays, but most importantly, it combines really well with the combo that I'm going to showcase you guys near the end of the video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But what its effect does is that if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can target one Machina monster in your graveyard, except for Possessed Storage. Special summon it in defense position, but it cannot activate its effect this turn. You can target one other Machina monster you control and one spawn trap card your opponent control or turn them to the hand. So this card bounces spawn trap card directly from your opponent's field to the hand and also at the same time it's also built in Monster Reborn. So the easiest way to get access to this card is during your opponent's turn by activating Aerator's effect especially on this card directly from the deck. So you can revive back cards like Machina Aerator, Machina Citadel from the Graveyard. This card is really awesome for follow-up plays and also at the same time provides you enough more presence so you don't get OTK'd by your opponent. So double copies of Machina Possessed Storage. One of the new cards that you want to play in the deck for sure. Not off to your old school Machina Monsters. You want to play of course Triple Machina Fortress very old school card right here. Super nostalgic to play this card in my deck. Super glad this card got reprinted as well in the structure deck. It's super awesome to see this card back in action once again. If you guys are not familiar with this card's ability, you can discard one machine monster whose total level is equal to level 8, then special with this card either from your hand or graveyard. Uh, which is really good. This card's effect is not once per turn, so you can revive itself multiple times in one turn if you have enough cards to discard to special summon this card to your side of the field. If this card is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Before resolving an opponent's monster effect that targets his face of card, look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from your opponent's hand. Really awesome as well. So, if any cards are to target this card, look at your opponent's hand, take away one card, which is really awesome. So, Triple Machina Fortress and to round off for your big old school monsters, you're gonna play, of course, the one Machina Mega Form right here. So, what this card does is that one, this card is a level 8, so you can easily pitch to the graveyard to summon Machina Fortress directly from your hand or grave, uh, which is amazing. And if you guys are not familiar with this card's ability, is that you tribute this card, especially on any Machina monster directly from the deck. You have a face of Machina Fortress you control sent to the graveyard while this card is in your grave. You can banish that Machina Fortress from your graveyard, especially on this card. So it can easily revive itself as well, which is pretty nice. So there you go, Machina Mega Form. Once a Mega Crunch comes out, this card will become so much better. But only one copy is definitely more than viable to play in this budget variation of the deck. So we're just waiting for Mega Crunch. Once Mega Crunch comes out, this card is going to be super duper awesome, man. So that's pretty much it for your old school boss monsters. Next off, for your best normal summons of the deck, actually, you'll play, of course, Triple Machina Ge uh, Gear Frame. Super nostalgic to see this card once again. And when this card is normal summon, you search any Machina monster directly from your deck to your hand. Very self explanatory. It's also a Union monster, so you can equip it to a Machina monster. And if the equipped monster would be destroyed in a battle or card effect, you can destroy this card instead while equipped. Similar to all Union monsters effect. Uh, which is absolutely amazing, right? So this triple gear frame is absolutely mandatory. Another card that's also really mandatory is triple scrap recycler. This card is really good as well. It's essentially like a searcher for the deck because when this card is normal summon, you basically get to dump any machina monster directly from your deck to the graveyard. It doesn't matter what level it is. It's a free dump. Sending cards like Citadel to the graveyard is absolutely crucial, right? So scrap recycler is also really nice. And this recycling ability <laughs> comes up as well. It's recycling ability. I'm crazy. Kind of comes up if you have two gear frames in the graveyard. You can shuffle into the deck to draw one card, right? Which is uh, really good. So it's a really good recycler. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for your starter cards of the deck. That's pretty much for the monsters. Let's go after the spell. The reason why this deck is so good is because of this card right here. Triple Machina Redeployment. This card is the nuts. If you guys do not know what it does, it is essentially a melody of the Awakening Dragons for Machinas. It's so good. So add one of these effects. Discard one card, add two Machina monsters with different names from each other from your deck to your hand. Discard one card, search two blue eyes. Melody of the Awakening Dragon. Discard, discard one card, search two Machina monsters with different names directly from your deck to your hand. Secondary ability, discard one Machina card, add two Machina card with different names from each other from your deck to your hand. So the first effect adds monsters, secondary effect can add it, you know, can add spawn traps, uh, it can add monsters, it can basically add anything, right? So Machina Redeployment is one of the best starter cards in the deck, and there's two card combos you can do with the deck involving this card right here. This card is super duper amazing. So super glad that Machina got a support card like this. This card is insane, man. Next off, ooh, one of the best draw powers in the deck, Triple Supply Squad. 
Cards like Ear Eater, Possessed Storage, Citadel, all those cards have destruction effect to trigger off their effects. So Supply Squad is insane because each time a monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you draw one card. And it's not once per turn, by the way. It's once per turn per copy, but if you have three copies of Supply Squad built up, oh my goodness, guys. Let's say you have three Supply Squad and you trigger off Citadel. You're drawing three cards. You're drawing three friggin' cards. That is ridiculous. So Supply Squad is definitely a must-up in this budget variation of the deck. It is absolutely essential, no doubt about it, that you need to play three copies of this card. This is the card that's going to help you draw into your combo pieces, and it's one of the cards that helps you OTK really quick by seeing your combo pieces. So seeing two or more copies of this card going first, you're more likely going to win the duel, right? So Triple Supply Squad is mandatory. Next off to draw power as well. Iron draw is very nice. Iron draw is actually really, really good. This card right here, it control exactly two machine monsters, no other monsters. Draw two cards, so it's a free pot of greed. And there are so many ways to get two machine monsters on the field. The only downside is that you can only smash them once after you resolve this effect. So you're kind of getting windowed on your own monsters. More draw power to see your combo pieces, the better. Next off, I'm playing this because I feel like this card is very aggressive and also very defensive at the same time. Triple limiter removal. If you're playing with this deck and your opponent aren't aware of attacking your machine monsters, Limit Renewal becomes super insane because it makes your Citadel 6,000, makes your Forces 5,000, it basically beefs up all your machine monsters, which is absolutely ridiculous. And especially going second, getting access to quick OTKs is absolutely crucial, right? So you can activate Limit Renewal and just attack every game. If you have double copies of Limit Renewal, you automatically just win the duel, right? So Limit Renewal is just really nice, making your machine monsters super strong and beefy to just potentially provide you quicker OTKs. Absolutely a muscle up in the deck for sure. So triple limiter removal. Last but not least for the spells, I'm playing double copies of Cosmic Cyclone. Just get rid of those back rows, get rid of those floodgates, any problematic cards on the field. I can easily just snipe it and use Cosmic Cyclone. Really awesome. Let's go after the traps. For the traps, I'm playing three copies of Machina Overdrive. This card is ridiculous. Essentially a Zodiac combo for the deck. What it does is that Play one machine monster you control, special and one machine of monster with a different name from your hand or deck, and if you do, destroy that targeted monster. So like I mentioned earlier, synergizing with cards like Supply Squad, ridiculous. Also, secondary effect, you can return three machine monsters from your banish from your grave onto your deck to draw one card. So it's like the Gasoline Ammo to recycle your pieces directly to the deck. This card is very, very nice to play. It has a three of in the deck for sure. And last but not least for our traps, I'm playing Triple Solemn Strike. Really good reactive card right here. It's a one for one trade, uh, which is really nice once your opponent builds up into their board. Solemn Strike, absolutely GG, right? So you want to try to actually set up your board with Citadel. If they try to continue, we're on with their combo plays and they can further extend. Solemn Strike is there to just stop their effects, right? So this card is absolutely mandatory to play in the deck as well. So that's pretty much it for the main deck, guys. This is the main core that you kind of want to focus on, right? It's kind of really good going first as well with the combos I'm going to showcase you guys into follow-up of the OTK. So let me showcase you guys a two-card combo real quick so you guys can further understand the deck a little bit more. Let's go. All right, guys, so the main two-card combo will be involving Machina Redeployment and Machina Gear Frame. Once you have these combination of cards in your hand, you can easily have a pretty nice board set up into a really great follow-up during the following turn. And this is only using the structure deck, by the way. If I have access to the extra deck, you know, in my full power competitive version, the combos are limitless. You can do a lot of things, but we're only using the budget combos real quick so you guys can understand how the deck functions. And that's the entire goal of this video, for, especially for those of you who are new and want to learn the deck. This is some of the cool combos you guys can do. But before we get started, like always, guys, this is the brand new, beautiful Survival of the Fittest playmat right here. So it's, of course, Tyranno right here. He's the boss. He's the boss, man. This is Overraptor. Like, Overraptor is getting eaten, you know what I mean? So, in the dinosaur world, it is survival of the fittest, you know? Like, the people that survive, they'll continue to live on. And there's a lot of dinosaurs on this mat. Petite, there's Baby right here. I don't know if you guys can see. And Misk, you know, Overraptor, and of course, the boss mat himself. And the background is Lost World. So, get your survival of the fittest play mat today. Hit the link in the description box below. And use my coupon code DINO10 for a limited time only. You guys can get 10% off on this awesome playmat. All right, guys, we won't waste any more of your time without further ado. Let's get started with the combo real quick. So first and foremost, uh, what you want to do is that you want to normal summon Machina Gear Frame. Activate Gear Frame's ability. You're going to add the Machina Citadel directly from your deck to your hand. And now what you're going to do is that you're going to activate Machina Redeployment to discard the Citadel from your hand to the graveyard to search two Machina monsters from your deck to your hand. And the two monsters that you're going to search is the Machina Aerator and also the Machina Eurator. Okay, so you're gonna search these two brothers and sisters directly from your deck to your hand. Very simple combos 
uh, right here. I'll put my graveyard over there so you guys can can see. Step three, what you wanna do is that you wanna activate Air Raider's ability to send the Machina Air Raider to the graveyard to special limit this card from your hand. You can activate Machina Air Raider's effect to target itself to special limit Machina Air Raider from your graveyard. It will get destroyed and now this will trigger off your Machina Citadel's ability. Special Summon Citadel from your graveyard. Two cards right here will give you this board right here, which is actually the standard for this deck. Now during your opponent's turn, they summon a bunch of monsters. Once you're satisfied enough with the monsters that they have on the board, you can activate Machina Citadel's ability to target itself, destroy itself, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Now what you can do is that you can chain Air Raider's ability to destroy Machina Gearframe because it is your opponent's turn. This card has a quick effect during your opponent's turn, which is amazing, so you can activate its effect. A quick effect to special limit the Machina Possessed Storage directly from the deck. Since Machina Gearframe is destroyed while Machina Citadel is in the graveyard, you're gonna be able to trigger off Citadel's effect in the graveyard once again to special limit itself to your side of the field. Now you chain Machina Possessed Storage to activate its effect to special limit Ear Raider from the graveyard. So look. Off just two cards, you end on with the exact same board that you started off with. You end on with four monsters with just two cards right here. And the following turn, you can easily just OTK your opponent by activating these cards' ability, right? So there are so many cool plays that you can do with the deck, but that's the standard combo that you want to try to achieve during your turn and also your opponent's turn. You can definitely do more. You can go into IP, have Unicorn play, have Citadel play. There are so many cool things you can do with the deck if you have access to the extra deck, right? Especially with the Scrap Engine, if you have Scrap Golem and Scrap Wyvern, oh my goodness, guys, the plays are limitless. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the deck profile. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing. And if you guys are interested in seeing this full power Machina deck profile for the 2020 format, make sure you guys comment in the comment section below. I'll showcase you guys the extra deck and some cool combos you guys can play with the deck. If you guys are interested, get your structure decks today in the link in the description box below. I'll be signing your three copies of your Machina Citadel with the purchase of the bundle and also give you guys a signed field center as well. Be sure to get your dinosaur playmat today in the link in the description box below at tx1.com using the code Dino10 for 10% off for a limited time only. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Sam from Team Shadow Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, go!